Hey there guys, it's Zach here from Rimbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 14.279. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 14.271. So diving straight in, the first noteworthy changes are with Cortana. More specifically, Cortana can now work in more areas. So she can now work in Mexico, Brazil and Canada via Spanish, Portuguese and French languages. So if you're a consumer or a user or an insider in that area, you can now use Cortana. So uh, when you install this build, give her a try. Not only that, but Cortana can now remember things for you. This is pretty much a layer on top of the already available reminder me feature, except now she doesn't ask for details when you don't provide them to her. So you can just simply ask her to remind you to do something and she'll put that in your notebook. So let's give that a, a demo now. Remind me to wash my car. Got it. And there you go. She will now remember to wash. Oh, she will remind. She won't. I don't know if she will remind me at a later date. Either way, I can now just edit this at any time I want. So I can now add a person, place, or time at a future in interval. But yes, you can now just put things in the notebook without having to give any details whatsoever, which is actually kind of convenient as sometimes you don't have any specific details. Uh, more often than not, I'd be using Cortana and I'd be like, remind me to do this and then not have any other details for her because I'm not entirely sure what the details are. She would, and she would still ask me and not save the reminder until I gave a date or time, even though that date or time would be wrong. So now she no longer requires it. Not only that, but there are UI improvements, which is the second kind of big thing in this build. If we log out of this account and swipe up the lock screen, you'll notice something very interesting. There's a kind of a new user interface, a, a new animation there. Uh, the background is shared between the lock screen and the login screen now, and that just kind of adds a few more effects to the page. But that's very similar to how Windows 10 Mobile does it. So very nice change indeed, uh, making the experience across the lock screen and the login screen you know, more synced together, more connected, which they should be because it's kind of the same thing anyway. And that's kind of it for features, really. If we jump into, since I didn't cover this in the last build, this was in the last build, but I didn't actually make a video on the last build. So we're just gonna look at it now. Taskbar properties are now in the universal settings app, which is very nice. They're doing this because they're still removing the control panel slowly. And maybe by the end of Redstone's development, the control panel will be completely gone. I'm not entirely sure, but they are now moving on with that as well, which is very nice indeed. But apart from that, that's it really. Uh, there's a few things you can try because these aren't news to this build, but Microsoft says to try them anyway. Sway integration with the Photos app and the Xbox app beta was updated recently to include more features. So check them out as well. But there you have it guys. That's a quick look at Windows 10 build 14.279. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.